it's easy to say um, you've got to get out and talk to people that you don't know uh, or um, uh, talk to people uh, who do what you do differently. Uh, it can be difficult to do with time crunches and um, too much work um, uh, to do. I'm often asked by MBAs, uh, okay, we, we see how people are advantaged by being network brokers. I want that advantage. How do I do that? Uh, I sort people into two groups. One group is a set of people who are just difficult to be with. What they need is not to hang out with people who are different. They just need social hygiene. Yeah? And, and that's a separate category of stuff. But the other piece is they're so focused on what they want to do or what they've been asked to do that they don't think about variation. They just think, get this done. Yeah? And so there are various tricks of how do I break free of the way I'm thinking, not to give it up, but to get some perspective on it from another way of, of, of going. The Naz Kepi uh, are a Canadian um, tribe. I don't know if they're still around. This paper was uh, from the 60s. Uh, but they were an extremely successful uh, hunter-gathering tribe. Uh, and the question comes up, why are they so successful in hunting relative to others? And the Naz Kepi have a very clear answer. Before we go out on a hunt, we take the um, uh, bone of a caribou and we hold it over the fire. The direction in which it cracks is the caribou spirit telling us which direction we should go. Yeah? Now one can ask, what's the validity of this? And dismiss it. But what it does is it's going to crack at random. And it prevents them from overhunting. Because what you would do is go back where you scored last time. But if you're guided by the spirit of the caribou, you'll go over here, you'll go over here, you'll believe because the caribou has sent you, but what you're doing is not going back to the same thing again and again and again. Yeah? That's an illustration of learning to forget. Yeah? Alternative ways this happens. Uh, for myself, I go to conferences, uh, often uh, where I don't know anyone, just to see how people intellectually engage a problem that I don't know so that I just see the logic of what they're doing rather than getting tied up uh, in the substance. Uh, shadowing managers has been a very effective way in exec ed uh, to uh, bring this uh, across. People can pretty much easily read broadly, but there's something different between reading about it and intellectually understanding it versus seeing people firmly believe that their way is the only way and understand how shallow their logic is because it's just based in ignorance and social gossip reinforcing it.